I was born in Longwe, Malawi, so that's a country in Africa. And, um, you know, I have very vivid memories. Um, I had a great childhood. Um, there was a lot of freedom. Um, there's just a, a joy of life over there. It is, it's amazing. So you kind of get hooked. My kids have got an affinity for Africa that I'm so happy that they've got. In terms of what it, it gave me and, and how it shaped my thinking and, and my life, you know, I have to say that people who have nothing are some of the happiest people on the planet. Um, it's amazing, you know, what people do and how they survive and how much we as Canadians put value in stuff. And so I think that perspective has really driven me and sort of how I live my life. At Sonovus, um, I'm the Vice President of Communications. So we do the advertising. Um, so all the commercials that um, are out there for Sonovus is um, my team's work. We do the external website, we do all the, uh, the brochures, the annual report, the corporate responsibility report. Um, it's pretty much sort of the official corporate voice for the company. So I started off with the journalism program and it really gave me a lot of very practical, on the job kind of um, experience that I needed to even get into the work world so, so that I could um, you know, do my job um, and do, hit the ground running when I uh, became part of a corporation. My first real job um, was at the Tabor Times. It was a summer job. And I was hired on to be a reporter and got 400 bucks a month. <laughs> yeah, all the corn I can eat, absolutely. That was the perk. <laughs> um, right after Mount Royal, I went into a magazine called Protection Canada. Um, I learned everything there was to do about um, putting a magazine together. Um, so it was a great experience and it led to my job at Calgary Magazine. And I was the production manager there and um, that was fun, but it went bust. I was given a pretty decent severance and that was great because when I got back from my honeymoon, there was money in the bank. <laughs> Where did I go from there? Oh yeah, yeah, no, I went back to Mount Royal. So um, I became the lab assistant, did that for another 18 months. So it wasn't until sort of I had a baby and was married that I decided, okay, enough of this sort of flitting about. And that's when I went to Transalta and did corporate communications for the first time. I was there for a couple of years. And then I decided that I really wanted to do stuff on my own. So I spent nine years consulting. Canadian Airlines was a, a client, TransCanada Pipelines was a client, TransAlta was a client, so numerous clients. Pan Canadian was a, a great company as well, really, really loved it. Got a lot of exposure to brand, and all of a sudden AEC Limited and Pan Canadian were joining forces and became Encana. So I was with Encana until it um, did this split. So all of a sudden we got the announcement that we were splitting and we were going to become two companies. I, I've had an amazing career. I have been part of so much. I've um, had presidents and CEOs leave, mergers, splits. Um, it's been crazy. I'm, I'm good news to have around. <laughs> when we split from Encana, the companies were divided into two. Encana's focus was on natural gas and Sonovus' focus was on oil. A company that doesn't have any retail um, is in a position of not being able to reach a whole lot of people. So we really feel that we're at the point where we need to get a whole lot more education out there, a whole lot more information. So that's why we started our commercials. We took a very deliberate tack on not having the commercials be about Synovus. That really what we wanted it to be about is the product, to take a consumer approach to what it is that we wanted people to know and understand about our industry. And it really changes the conversation because it puts a human face on things.
And it's amazing, you know, the number of people who really think that this is a refreshing approach, but it's the approach every other industry takes, and somehow we weren't doing that. So we're getting a lot of accolades about how we're doing our commercials, but to me it just really makes common sense. When I joined the oil and gas industry, so I've been in um, the industry for 16 years, um, there were fewer females in the non-traditional roles and in the uh, leadership. Um, areas. So what we need are more women, especially who are really pushing the envelope in terms of what careers they're going into, as opposed to going into more traditional areas. So communications is a very female area. More women than men are in this field. And so it's, it's almost the reverse for men, which is very unfortunate. So we need more men in this area. I have the coolest job in the world. I. I think anybody who wants a great career should go into communications. You know, family support is, is crucial. I could not have done what I've done in my career without family support. I've got a 20-year-old, a 25-year-old, and a 27-year-old. And the fact that they want to go on vacation still with us and that they come over to the house every week for brunch is pretty amazing and I have a fabulous husband. So in the end, I love my career and I love my job, but it's the whole package. It's what we do as a family. It's what we do um, in our professional lives. They overlap. They sort of merge into one, and everybody's been very supportive of what I do. I hope I'm as supportive of what they do as, as they are of me. I have to say I have a good life. I'm, I'm kind of happy a long way from Malawi, but just as good as Malawi. <laughs>